Hello and welcome to my channel. Go ahead, hit the like, hit the share, subscribe if you haven't already. If you can check out everything that's going down on these platforms right now, it should be blatantly obvious why I spent so much of my time doing research on a lot of these characters conducting these interviews, giving out so many of these corroborating stories for the feds. But while I was doing my research, it was funny watching all these provocateurs come out here and try to distract the public, because we know a lot of people ain't going to dig deep and read. <laughs> <laughs> I am fully aware of what y'all say about me. Number one. And I don't give a fuck. Like God, keep it a stack. Bitches move why because they know I got bands. <laughs> If you order a cake or cookie from Tree Madonna Pastries, well, for starters, you get a custom flavor that's just for you. If you're not into chocolate or vanilla, it's your chance to explore other flavors. And even though it's not the traditional chocolate or vanilla, it's still delicious. I'm just saying, if you want to impress someone on any occasion, you get them a cake or cookie from Tree Madonna Pastries. You can even become a pastry member to review new products monthly. I am very happy to be here! Y'all niggas know what it is. You know we get the bag. <laughs> Today we're here to observe the fallout of well-known celebrity extortionist Gloria Howard, who confirmed during the press conference that she is also representing other women and men. She added who have allegedly been victims of the five-for-year-old rapper and music producer Sean Diddy Combs. She could not confirm whether more lawsuits would be filed against Combs. However, we have witnessed her tactics in many other cases. In the case of Harvey Weinstein, Howard allegedly tried to silence those accusers and quietly settle his accusations yet went on a full campaign to take down R. Kelly. Howard even represented an individual who claimed to be in possession of an R. Kelly tape, yet mysteriously disappeared before said tape was ever produced. As of now, it is being rumored Howard's most recent client has been exposed for fabricating her Diddy story, yet we all have witnessed the levels some will go through to keep certain information out of public domains to further perpetuate the guilt of Diddy. Did he do it? We don't know, however. We cannot ignore the obvious blueprint being followed. 